Hello and welcome to this video on reading scales. And by a scale I mean that we might be reading off a thermometer or we might be reading off a weighing scale where we have some kind of number line and it's divided into parts and we have to say well what is that weight indicated by this mark here or what is the length indicated by this mark here or what is the temperature indicated by this mark here. And the key is just thinking, how is the scale split up? What is each one of these parts worth on the scale? So let's do this first one, and I'll just copy it out. Now, if you look at some of the indicated values that the arrow appears between, what we do is we count the number of parts it's divided into. So we can see there's one, two, three, four, five. It's divided into five regions. You don't count the marks in between because there's four marks, but it's divided into five regions. Now, what's the difference between 100 grams and 200 grams? Well, there's a 100 grams difference between them. And that 100 grams difference is being divided into five regions. Now, what's 100 divided by five? Well, 100 divided by five is equal to 20 grams. And that means each region is worth 20 grams. So if that's 100 grams, that would be 120 grams. Then the next mark is with 150 grams. And then that means this mark here is 160 grams. So the answer is 160 grams. What about this second one? Again, we look at the difference between these two marked values here and we see how many regions is it split up into. So we can see there's one region, two, three, four, five regions. Now it might help if we kind of put a zero on the end of these. So if we had 2.60, because 2.60 centimetres is exactly the same as 2.6, and that would be 2.70 centimetres. Now, if we just look after the decimal point, we can see that that's 60, that's 70, that's a difference of 10, and that's been divided into 5. So 10 divided by 5 is 2, which means it's going to go up by 2 hundredths each time. So this is going to be 2.62, that's going to be 2.64, that's going to be 2.66, that's going to be 2.68. And then if we add two again, we see we get 2.70. And that works. Look, that matches that one. So we can see that the answer is 2.68 centimetres. So when we have digits after the decimal point, it can sometimes be helpful to put zeros on the end because then 60 to 70, we can easily divide up into five, knowing it goes up by two each time. What about the third one? This is actually a bit easier, this one. Now again, we look at the difference between these, we've got 14 and 15, that's a difference of 1. And how many regions do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're going to split that up into 10. If we're splitting a whole up in 10, then 1 divided by 10 is a tenth. So this is going to go up by a tenth each time, so 14.1, 14.2. But if that was hard to see, again, you could use this little trick of just putting a 0 at the end. So it's 14.0 and that is 15.0, and then it might be easy to see that it's going to go 14.0, 14.1, 14.2, 14.3, 14.4, 14.5, 14.6, 14.7, 14.8, 14.9, and then it's going to be 15.0. So we can see that temperature there is going to be 14.3 Celsius. And this very last one, now this time we want to find the value of these two arrows so if we look at this, we've got 15.1, 15.2. How many regions has it been divided up into? One, two, three, four. And the difference is 0 0.1. So we need to divide up 0 0.1 into four. Now it might be helpful again if we just put some zeros on the end. Put some zeros on the end. Then we can see, well, that is 100 there after the decimal point. That is 200. And if you divide that difference of 100 up into fours, that's going to be 25 each time, isn't it? So that's going to be 15.125. And then add 25 again, 15.150. And then 15.175, adding 25 each time. And then when you add 25 again, you get 15.200, 15.2. So that does indeed work. So this value here is 15.15. We don't need that zero on the end. And what about here? If we put two zeros on the end again, 
Now we've got 200 here, 300 here. That's a difference of 100 divided up into 4s. 25 we're going up by each time. So it's 15.225, 15.250, and 15.275, add 25 again, and yes, we get 300 again. So indeed, that value there is 15.275.